my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are um, I've been getting a lot of requests in reference to how to pull or attract someone towards you or have them think of you uh, especially those who have recently broken up etc so this is a very very it's like so ridiculous of how easy it is and it is a hundred percent guaranteed now note um, just an FYI, this is something temporary, okay? This is not something that is going to last. Um, uh, it is going to give you results, as in that person is definitely going to reach out to you, want to be around you, only because they have this anxiety and need to be, to, or to be pulling, uh, they're going to feel anxiety, uh, they're going to feel a lot of stress. They're going to feel like they can breathe if they're not around you, okay? And, and it's an innate feeling of wanting to be uh, towards you, around you, with you, etc. Like I said, please note if you guys are looking for anything specific, something long-term, or if you're looking for anything that's going to be, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That is going to be uh, basically to what your needs are, whether it's long-term or whether it's, you know, temporary, etc. cetera. Uh, whatever it is, please note that I do recommend you guys to go to professionals or to reach out to myself or anyone else that you consider is a professional and um, that knows basically what they're doing, okay, to give you long-term results. This is something temporary. This is out of desperation, so to speak. This is when you recently broke up with your partner or... The, the, if it's been longer than six months that they haven't been in communication, this is definitely 100% still going to work. Um, even if they're dealing with other people, uh, meaning it's been six months and they're actually dating someone else. It's still going to have the same effect. The only difference is, again, um, it may take a little bit longer than it would if, let's just say, you guys haven't seen each other for two, three months, so to speak. So anyways, also, I have been asked many, many times what the difference is between different rituals, different rites. Um, a lot of people seem to, you know, from personal experience, I get a lot of clients that come to me and they're like, you know, I need, um, I need a love spell, uh, you know, and, and that's, you know, as soon as they say that, it's almost like they know exactly what it is that they want. But once you're able to tap into what's really going on in their relationship. It's not just a love spell that they need. Um, anyways, I'm going to make a video, uh, a different video in regards to that and the difference between the different rituals and rites um, that you have to, you would have to do in order to get the results that you're hoping for, okay? Um, so I hope that makes sense. Anyways, also people have been asking, um, whether it's black magic, white magic, etc. Here's the thing when it comes to that, okay? And, and this is something that a lot of people misconstrue or don't really understand. Anyone that is in the esoteric or knows about the practice of magic, to us, there is no black or there's no white, okay? Uh, and the reason for that is because you need both. Uh, it's very, very simple um, and it's very to the point. But everything in life is balance. You need light in order to know what darkness is and you need darkness in order to know what light is. So in regards to that, um, anyone that tells you, yeah, I'll do a love spell for you and it's going to be 100%, you know, white magic. It's, it has nothing to do with your karma, has nothing to do with this and this and that. As I see in advertisements, I see that in the television all the time all of that is bullshit know and understand that what white magic is is solely if an example you come to me for a love spell and you want it to be uh without any karmatic consequences the only way it could resonate with that of the light uh, meaning um not having to carry any karmatic type of energies is if you and your partner know uh, that you guys are doing this ritual or that you're doing this love spell. That's when it becomes white magic, okay? That's when it's a mutual consent, a promise to one another for love, a promise to one another for devotion to one another and something long-term. That's when it is, in fact, white magic. 
anything to do with the partner not being around you, they pull away from you, they don't want to be with you, anything to do with basically forcing them or submitting them to your will is not light magic or is not white magic, okay? Know and understand that. Uh, again, at the end of the day, white magic is what you make it and black magic is what you make it. So what I mean by that is there, there's a lot of people don't understand that and they confuse it. Um, black magic doesn't necessarily mean just evil, you know, uh, like I said, if you're doing a binding and your partner doesn't know that you're doing that, that is considered black magic because you're submitting them to your will because you are not asking them for consent. You're moving forward with it. So again, that's black magic. Now, if you're trying to harm someone or do harm to someone just because it's ego driven, ego based, that also falls under black magic. So you can see the contrast and be like, well, it's two different things. I'm not wanting harm. I'm not doing harm, etc. At the end of the day, it's not you. It's not for you to decide because what you're doing is you're keeping your partner, whether it's a she or whether it's a he, you're uh, keeping them from progressing towards their destiny um, by forcing their will or forcing your will on them. So again, I'll, I'll make a video specifically about that. But anyways, let's get into this, um, this video. Also, if you guys are interested in more videos, feel free to comment below. Let me know, give me ideas of whatever it is that you guys are wanting. And again, I try to be very tactful and very mindful about the videos I upload. Uh, the reason for it is when it's more elaborate, it's more um, what people would consider or probably even YouTube would ban uh, some of the rituals. That's the reason why, you know, obviously I know that I can't put that out there. Um, but when it's very simplistic and it is not going to affect you um, drastically in regards to your karmatic uh, or in regards to any flashbacks coming back to you um, or any harm coming your way, then I will definitely upload those videos just like this one, which is a very simplistic one. Again, like I said, it is so easy. It's ridiculous, but it is extremely effective. The one thing that you will most definitely need is faith, okay? You have to have faith in what you're doing. Anything to do with the craft, you have to have faith. If you cannot, in an instance, if you are desperate and you feel completely helpless because he or she hasn't reached out to you because you don't know what they're doing, you don't know what they've been up to, there's been no communication, and you just feel anxiety, you feel, again, like I said, helplessness, do not do this, okay? Because understand and know that anything you do when it comes to magic, when it comes to spellcraft, anything you do, uh, whether your intention is to bring them towards you, if you come on and bring your energy to what you're doing, which is that a feeling helplessness, feeling desperate, then what you're doing is you're putting that towards what you're going to be doing or the process of it. Uh, so then it's going to come as a flashback to you, uh, feeling, again, like I said, putting you in a situation of helplessness and uh, anxiety. So again, be very mindful about that. If I, I understand that, especially when it comes to romance and when it comes to, um, you know, dealings of the heart, I know it could be very difficult for us to detach ourselves, which is why it's so important for you guys to reach out to someone that knows exactly what they're doing. Um, not necessarily because uh, other than them knowing exactly what it is uh, that needs to be done, but also because they're not in that relationship dynamic. They're not, they're emotionally detached, which becomes much more easier for us to, again, amplify that energy and make whatever it is manifestation we're wanting. So again, if you do feel helpless, if you do feel desperate, if you are anxious, try the best you can, if possible, meditate within 30 minutes, 20 minutes, just to ground your energy, to ground yourself, get clear mind, um, and not bring those excessive negative energies towards what you're doing, okay? So anyways, let's get to it. So what you're going to need is, you are going to be needing a glass, a crystal uh, glass or cup whatever works for you. You're going to be needing water. You're going to be needing a pen. You're going to be needing uh, wood matches and 
anything to do with magic, you guys, it's very important to use um, the the wooden matches, okay? The reason I say that is because when you're doing any type of a spell work or any type of um, uh, a ritual, you could have gone through a process you know when when it's when they are elaborate type of rituals you could go from 30 minutes to an hour doing a ritual right and all that time and all that effort goes to hell the moment you light a lighter and the reason for that is because again you're cutting the cord with the lighter so again i know it it, it may be confusing for you guys that don't understand but i can make a video about that as well uh, that's going to be for a different uh different video or whatever so anyways um wooden matches is what you're gonna need you're gonna need an incense i already have my incense here make sure that it is either rose incense or cinnamon as cinnamon is a very abundant um very abundant um uh ingredient that we use um but it is also very powerful and very strong in regards to any type of love spell okay so anyway cinnamon which I already have here, and you're going to be needing a piece of paper. Uh, it could be parchment paper. It can be, uh, actually, preference would be like um, just a regular paper or uh, I guess the thicker the better, only because it won't um, dissolve very quickly or very easily, okay? So anyways, if it is uh, extremely uh, an extremely big paper, my suggestion is cut it uh, just so you can fold it once or twice. Uh, do not use scissors again uh, you have to put your energy into this so cut it with your fingers if possible if not keep doing it until you get it right because there is no scissors involved here so anyways you're gonna need a piece of paper like this okay so let me repeat what you're gonna be needing I will list it below just so you guys know um, but anyways a glass of a glass or a cup Okay, must be crystal or uh, glass, basically. Um, I don't know why I'm mumbling. A pen, a piece of paper, um, incense, uh, preferably cinnamon or rose, and wooden matches, and water. Okay, so it's very, very simple. Again, like I said, so what you're going to do is you're going to get the pen and the piece of paper, and you're going to write down the person's full name. So... If they have um, a first and middle name and last name, you must provide his full or her full name, okay? And also, you're going to put their date of birth, which is very important. Okay. So once that is done, you're going to fold the paper always fold the paper facing you okay always always and the reason why you do that is because you're bringing them to you okay so you're gonna fold it my suggestion fold it um three times i work with three so so once you fold it three times put your energy and envision them um you know, reaching out to you, uh, missing you, desiring you, really put into, put that uh, energy, that intention towards this paper, okay? So once that is done, you're going to fold it um, halfway again. Again, like I said, always fold, the fold is always coming towards you, okay? Because they're coming towards you. So once this is done, you're going to put the paper in the glass like this okay and what you're going to do is you're going to light the incense again with the intention and the notion of them coming to you coming towards you um missing you obsessing over you all of that okay you got got to keep that um in mind now this is not necessary but i do use this because um i'm actually as i'm doing this video i'm actually doing this for a client of mine um 
dragon's blood has always been a very, very powerful uh, incense, a very powerful herb, um, and to uh, or plant, sorry, plant. And to us, it is uh, of the utmost importance to of the utmost importance um, to use dragon's blood when bringing um, a person towards us, okay? And the reason for that, again, this is not necessary, but if you want to put more of that forceful energy, then you can always use uh, dragon's blood, um, or in this case, uh, sage dragon's blood, um, to put that energy in this cup so you can bring them, okay, bring them towards you. And the dragon's blood is always having full control and full uh what's the word have full domination over the situation okay so just leave it there again like i said with intention um of bringing them towards you and always um the way i run this is doing it in a clockwise position never do it on the re <clears throat> so sorry never do it on the reverse or the counterclockwise counterclockwise is to uh, remove something or pull someone away from you as it is banishing. So again, uh, if you decide to use the dragon's blood, never use it counterclockwise. It's always clockwise as it is positive and you're raising the energy. Okay, so once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to have um, any type of spring water is going to work perfectly fine. You're going to fill up the glass with the paper in there, okay, as so, once that is done, um, if the, you know, paper gets stuck to uh, the side of the glass or whatever, just submerge it with your, with your fingers, okay, so it should be like this, okay? You're going to leave this positioned under your bed. And I forgot to mention also very important to do this at night, okay? So you're going to put this, once this is done, you can stay with it for about a good 10, 15 minutes, putting your intention towards it, um, you know, feeling, almost knowing um, how obsessed they're going to become because they are, <laughs> um, you know, a lot of clients of mine have given me feedback in reference to once they return, you know, they, they tell them, they're very quick to tell them like, oh my God, I couldn't stop thinking of you. I missed you so much. And to them, it's almost as if, you know, they realize I have feelings for this person, but in reality, this is what's happening. <laughs> so anyways, you're going to leave this, uh, again, like I said, stay with it for a good 10, 15 minutes. Put your intention towards it. Um, let the incense burn. And again, know and understand that what you're, the, re the reasoning behind this and the reason why they reach out to you is because they literally feel like they're drowning because they don't know about you. They don't know what's up with you. They don't know where you've been, what you're doing. So they start getting all these doubts, okay, all these doubts. Um and because it's going to be under your bed, which is very important to, to put, it has to be under your bed. Um, the reason for that is because you're, you're only putting in this paper what's going in there is only uh, she or his name and their date of birth. Your name is not going to be attached to this paper. What uh, the, the reasoning of putting it under your bed is because it's going to pick up on your energies, but you're going to always be on top. Uh, that's the reason why this needs to go under the bed. You're always going to be on top, okay? Uh, you're always going to be ahead of them. You're o they're always going to feel like they have to chase you. So which is why they materially, uh, materially, uh, materializing, um, 
almost imitating the the chase type of energy and when that happens again know and understand that that's the reason for it and the water is because they're submerged in the water they're going to feel like the water could be a representation of their mind and their being their mind is being filled with um stress with anxiety with this you know just innate impulse of wanting to be towards you because that's the only thing that's going to keep them from being calm and feeling like they could breathe you know literally so it's technically uh you know in the life taking this physical form uh, or this physical aspect which the glass or the cup is actually their mind uh you know you putting their name and their date of birth is their physical body um being submerged or being overwhelmed overpowered by emotion and desire for you so anyways i guarantee you you do this again like i said very important i forgot to mention initially in the beginning of the video very important for you to do this at night preferably uh on a friday you could do it it doesn't it doesn't matter um the moon phase you could do it at any given point. Um, but again, I do suggest to do it from Wednesday all the way to Friday uh, so you could get uh, very quick results. And again, like I said, you leave this under your bed and I guarantee you within three to four days you will hear from them, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this video. Again, like I said, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. In reference to getting personalized spells or rituals, definitely contact me through my email. And again, comment and like and share my videos. We'll see each other soon. Okay, bye.